All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Today's vlog is an unboxing, a review, and a test. Four, right in front of me, we have the Jason e-bike, electric bike. This bike is not only an e-bike, it's a regular bicycle also. It's a mountain bike and it, you know, it, everything about it seems so cool when I ordered it. So, and I've, you know, I've always wanted something like this. I can't really get like a UTV right now or a ATV of any sort. So I figured this would be the next best thing to get me around where I need to go sometimes. Save a little bit of gas money, you know? So yeah, this right here is the Jason e-bike. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, Jason. Um, this is non-sponsored. This is just something that I saw and that I have wanted for quite some time and I have it and I figured why not do a vlog on it? So, but before we get into this vlog, if you are new to this channel or if you have not already, please go hit that subscribe button notification bell. I always appreciate it so, so much. And without further ado, Let's get right into this vlog, take this thing out the box, and ride it because I'm so excited for this. Like, I am genuinely excited for this right here. So, with that being said, let's go. All right, so first, I've already got the packaging kind of took off. Let's go ahead and open it up. I haven't opened this up yet at all. Come on, come on. Ugh. All right, here's what comes in the box right here. All right. All right, so next up, what we have to do is carefully cut off all of these straps, these zip ties, take this off, and then figure out how to put the front wheel on, because the back wheel is actually already installed. And then after that, you do the handlebars, the seat, it comes with the light here, as you saw. I mean, the pedals even look really cool and futuristic almost. So I'm really excited about this. So yeah, let's get started. All right, everybody, so it's like, a few days later from what you just saw right after i filmed that i tried to assemble this in the right way and i just could not do it it was not working out the way it was supposed to for me so i didn't want to film it because i was getting very aggravated i was throwing scissors across the room and this and that and i was just like oh. but now it's put together let me explain what i basically had to do um and then we'll talk about the bike a little bit it all came together except for the front tire being on and the handlebars being on and the seat being on and the pedals being on. Those are literally the only things that I had to assemble. But me trying to get this front tire on this bike was a pain and a half. It looks so simple on a video, but whenever I pulled the front of the bike up to slide the tire up into the slot it was supposed to go in, it just wasn't working, so I was getting so frustrated. But I finally got it done. And with that being said, let's now talk about this e-bike. Because it's really cool. It is really cool now that I'm used to it and stuff, so. First of all, this has front fork suspension, which basically is like good for bumpy roads and you know, things like that. So. This is a mountain bike also, by the way, it's not a regular bicycle. It has a 350 watt brushless motor on it, reaching up to over 20 miles an hour. That's really cool. It has LED headlights and LED tail lights. I will show you all of those close up in just a minute. I'm just gonna like kind of go over everything real quick. It has seven gears on it. You can go into first through seventh by using this button right here, as you can see goes back it has dual disc brakes which is really good for a bicycle especially a mountain bike that's going to help you out in the long run it has an upgraded lcd display right here which shows you how fast you're going you know the mileage all the stuff it has a horn on it let me turn the battery on so you can hear the horn real quick this has a 36 volt large capacity battery, which can travel 25 miles in just electric mode or 40 miles in pedal assist mode. This also does have pedal assist, which makes the electric part of this a lot easier. And the, the seat right here is adjustable. I'm not going to adjust it because that's where I would need it to be, but you can raise it up, lower it. Uh, the pedals went on really easy. It's a little dirty where I've got it muddy already, but I mean, the kickstand's great. The handlebars, now when I installed the handlebars, that was a trick too, because the handlebars 
all the cords for the electric part was already connected and basically the handlebars were just kind of like hanging on the side of the bike as I was trying to put the front tire on. That made it even more difficult, but you know, if you can also adjust the handlebars. When I put it on, it told me to make sure that the handlebars were straight with the tire, obviously, so you don't mess up and wreck and tighten everything when you put the front tire on. Also, if you're doing this yourself, like make sure everything is assembled properly or you will hurt yourself and that's not good. So brakes on both sides, dual disc brakes, you know. It's a pretty cool bike. These tires are 26 inch tires and this bike in total only weighs 49.6 pounds that's i mean not that heavy you know it's heavy getting it in and out the door because it being an e-bike i want to keep it inside you know i mean i'm sure it can withstand cold weather and stuff it is waterproof because i've already rode it in the rain a couple of times and it says it's waterproof online so yeah without further ado now let's uh i'm gonna get, grab the camera and i'm gonna get close up and show you what it looks like up close and then after that we'll give it a little test run and ride it and show you what it's like just using the pedals and show you what it's like using it as an e-bike i mean you don't even have to turn the battery on when you ride this i mean it's just a regular bicycle at the same time but all right here it is right here the dual disc brakes pedals are pretty nice like i said it's already dirty kickstand's really good this right here is the battery i'm not gonna take it off but what you do I i'll show you eventually but it comes with a key put the key unlock the battery and press or pretty much you don't even have to really press just kind of pull up and it comes off that's for if you were out in public and you need to go inside somewhere and can't take your bike, you can take the battery off. And if somebody still has a bike, at least you have the battery for it. So this is a Jason EB5. The seat is really comfortable, but if you're not used to riding a bicycle all the time, it might make you sore for like a couple days. So let me show you down here what I kind of had to do. All right, this little piece right here, this piece right here, there's a slot up and under it to where this thing right here, this disc brake, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, has to slide up in that slot and match into that piece right there. Cool little headlight. So let's get on the bike real quick. Oh. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like from your point of view. Like I said, you can adjust these handles to go up a little bit. Um, this is, I think, the furthest down it goes. So, if you want to turn on the battery, you go down here, hit that little red button, and it turns itself on. And also, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of dark, but it has a place where you can charge your phone, a USB port. Battery indicator right here. It shows you how much battery life you have. See, I still have almost full, fully charged. So the battery's on, but the screen still isn't on. What you do, right here, there's like a plus and minus looking button. There's a button at the bottom, hold it in. There's the display. See, it shows you the battery life, the speed. There's three different trips on this, like levels pretty much. Three I've heard is the best. So, so far I've went 0 0.9 miles, the amount of like hours that I've rode it and I haven't rode it much. And you can turn it and keep it on bright or there's a like power saver mode to dim it up a little bit. And again, the horn. And right here, I'll show you what the headlight and tail lights look like. So the headlights, obviously, this button right here, click it. Pretty bright, pretty bright. LED works pretty decently in the nighttime. It's all right. Back here is the tail light, which you can take off anytime you want. Hold the button in, and it has different levels. There's that one, there's that one, there's that one, that one. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one again. And then hold it in to turn it off. Pretty cool bicycle overall. See, here's the gears right here. See, it has seven gears. And if you wanna go, I see I'm in gear one right now. So if you wanna go up in gears, hit this button right here. See, it goes all the way to seven if you wanna put it back down. And also, if you are riding this and you're trying to do that while you're riding, I don't recommend it because it seems like it messes this mechanism up right here. So always do it whenever you're not like in use with it. Yeah, let's uh, turn the battery back off for now. 
Oh. And I guess we'll go give it a test run and see how well it does. I mean, I know how well it does, but I want to show you how well it does off-road and on-road. So without further ado, let's go ride our e-bike. All right, everybody. So we are about to try this thing out on the main road. So got the GoPro semi strapped up right here. I'm going to turn the battery on down here. Turn this on. No, it's not like I need this right now because we're going downhill, but it's in first gear right now. So right now we're gonna crank it up into fourth. Let's roll. All right, so this is just me pedaling it without using the uh, throttle. We're going eight miles an hour and nine. Sorry if it's a little shaky. I don't have the chest strap for the GoPro. I've just got a tripod stuck inside my jacket. Once we get on the main road, it won't be as shaky. Don't forget, you got brakes on both sides too. Alright, so that's coming down my driveway. Now, let's go a little bit on the road. We're gonna hit the throttle just like that, and we're gonna go for it. You can pedal if you want, but you don't have to. Right now, we're at 15 miles an hour. Doing pretty good. Pedal, you'll go faster. It's a whole lot of fun. You know, I haven't been on a bicycle in a long time. And I keep noticing, I thought something was wrong with my battery a second ago, but I keep noticing that I keep hitting the power button on the battery down here with my knee. Alright, hit the throttle, here we go. Right now we're at 16 miles an hour, 17, 18, and I'm not even pedaling. I'm giving this bike the full potential right now. 20, 21, all right, 22, can we hit 26? Maybe, maybe not. 22.3, so right at 22, that's not bad.
exercise all at the same time. Pedaling or not, you're still getting endurance. miles an hour just coasting in fourth gear and I've learned not to change gears unless you stop so overall this is done really well we're gonna go down here turn around one more time All right, everybody. So overall, this bike is absolutely amazing. Again, it is the Jason EB5 electric bike. And overall, the quality is amazing. The tires are really big. Um, everything about it is pretty cool. The headlight, however, it could be mounted a little bit higher up. I'm gonna try to figure that out because it seems to just get like on the tire and not the ground itself. But yeah, overall, I would give this a nine out of 10. Not gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because it's not perfect, but it works. So, all right, everybody. I really hope you all enjoy this episode of the vlog. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace. See you next week, everybody. Oh.